on and off. Okay, so in the following video, I'm going to attempt to do a comparison of some different geometries of electric thrusters. Some of you have mentioned using, uh, testing these things in vacuum, and uh, I intend to do that in the near future once I get a vacuum chamber. I'll be putting, um, designing a uh, test rig to put inside a vacuum chamber and run um, at least a, uh, a rough vacuum to remove most of the air. Uh, getting getting a hard high getting a high vacuum. Um, yeah, depending on if I if depending on if I get a two stage vacuum pump, then I can uh, pull a high vacuum and do tests in that. And I'll probably design some kind of a rotary. A small rotary test rig to look for um, non-ionic or ionic propulsion um, other effects maybe gravitational in nature but at this point it's hard to say some of these devices under uh, the same voltage level so what I've done is is try to keep as many things constant uh, to act as controls for these experiments and then all I've tried to do is just change the geometry of the type of thruster so uh, just using some basic different shapes um, I'm hoping to optimize the design and figure out which geometry works best because I'm not aware of anything online or any studies that have been done um, directly comparing directly comparing geometry uh, as a design factor to increase uh, total thrust produced by electrokinetic devices or ion wind devices or what have you, whatever you want to call them. At this time I see potential for this kind of technology and for the development of these these devices, these uh, th kinds of thrusters. So. And if you haven't subscribed, um, please do because in the near future I'm going to be uh, going into uh, work with superconductors and rotation of superconductors because there was some promising results with that uh, from some earlier patents that I've come across. So that will be very interesting if you want to check that out. And I hope you find the rest of this informative and helpful. Thanks a lot for your support. center wire positively charged Steady point three 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 five grams. All right, shutting off. Yeah. Got something you want to say? Yeah. Okay. So in the following test, what I did with this is push that inner wire in about an inch from where it was before, which was right here at, at this point. What? Something's not right. Point one three. <laughs> Point 0.1 grams. I'll test of this with this plate charged positive. Mm, 
not seeing any thrust here at all. Strange. However, the whole assembly moves a little bit once I turn the power on. Okay, so I swapped the polarity. So now the center wire here is positively charged. Looks like half a gram of thrust. That's more like it. Perfect. Okay, hemisphere thruster. Um, big end or hemisphere connected to the high voltage output. Downward. Let's do a little incense test, shall we? Incense. Sense is just going all over the place. Okay, so I reversed leads here. So this is now high voltage positive. Nothing at all, really. like it's being blown around. I can't tell. Okay, uh, the incense is being expelled out the bottom instead of going straight up. Should be going up here. That's being pushed away. Okay, this is the cone. Large electrode connected to the positive output of the multiplier. Small wire here, grounded. One gram. Okay, now I'm going to do polarity reversal. Hardly any thrust at all. Alright, test of the combination thruster. Center wire here is charged positive. 
Okay, so for some reason I'm not getting any indication of force being produced here. These are not making sense, these readings. So I'm going to flip the polarity. Okay, so the hemisphere is now charged, going to be charged positive high voltage. Let's try that again. Zero point five grams. Well, I guess it just sucks. <laughs> okay, one thing I'm going to try now is I'm going to push this wire in. I'm going to push this wire in one inch deeper. And we're getting some flashover problems here, just a sec. Nothing. What the hell? Yeah, not much going on there. Hmm. It's a little bit, but it's pretty weak, it seems. Almost one gram. It's hard to see what the smoke's doing. It's just kind of blowing all over the place. And the ionization is intense. It's kind of blowing it all over the place. One twelve. 